friends, welcome back to our channel, or if you're new here, my name's Garrett. I'm Melissa. And we are the Leffersons, and today, if you have missed the news, we have come back from Disneyland a while ago. <laughs> yeah, it's been about a month now. <laughs> and we have our Disneyland haul. Yay! I know you guys have been waiting for the Disneyland content, but we are here. We might as well start with the haul. Let's just start it off with a bang. And right after this, we're going to start with our Disneyland vlogs. Ooh, so make sure you are subscribed. Hit yes. that bell icon. If you guys like Disney vlogs, if you like hauls, if you like unboxings, if you like anything Disney, you should probably subscribe because I feel like we're a good time. I think so too. <laughs> so a little bit of background. This is my first time ever going to Disneyland. And yep. if you've been around for a minute, you know, we go to Disney World a lot. Mm -hmm. And Alyssa went to Disneyland a lot when you were a kid, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's been a while since mm. I was able to experience the parks as an adult. So kind of felt like my first time too, to be honest. So I was like, I'm gonna buy everything Disneyland. <laughs> and we but did I feel okay. Like we didn't do, we didn't buy that much. No. Mainly because when we go to Disney World, since we are pass holders, we get a 20% off discount there. And we didn't get that discount at Disneyland. So I feel like anything that we could have purchased at Disney World, we didn't. We, didn't. we just decided, well, except for what Garrett's currently. There's a few things that we did end up purchasing, but most of the things that we're going to show you are like Disneyland specific items because that's kind of what we were going for. Well, you already pointed out <laughs> one of the purchases is what I'm wearing is I finally joined that spirit jersey life. Yes, it, it happened. We asked it on Instagram happen. if I should get this and, and, and it happened. So this is the Baymax hooded Spirit jersey. <laughs> it says Big Hero 6 on the back. I feel like I'm twerking. <laughs> <It's like laughs> twerking. But this was Garrett's first spirit jersey, yep. and I feel like the first night that we were in Disneyland, it was like really cold. It was like, chilly. I feel like we weren't necessarily prepared for how cold it was going to be. So Garrett purchased this our first night there. It, it's like the perfect weight, and uh, you know, the, the California sun was amazing, but this white kind of held reflect and actually kept me yeah. cool. I was super happy with this yeah. purchase. You actually wore it a few times during the trip. Yep, because <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So thanks to you that voted over on Instagram, follow us on Instagram at the Leffersons mm -hmm. uh, that said yes get it and uh, I have you to thank for it. They actually had a lot of really adorable Baymax merch there. You'll they have did. to check out our first Disneyland vlog because we show you all the new Baymax merch. We show you all the merch. We go on a ton of rides. Mm -hmm. You'll see when they come out. But Alyssa. my whole outfit is also new. And we'll start with these ears and I'll actually I'll take them off to give you guys a close up. These are the Disneyland specific ears. Obviously I needed them, right? And they have the adorable Disneyland font, which I absolutely love the Disneyland font. Way better than Disney World. You guys love to comment down below and let us know what are font you, you like what, better. What I'm weird font about team fonts. are you? I'm weird about fonts, I don't know. But I just love the pastel-y colors. It says Disneyland. It's got these cute little sequins. And then on the side, it says Ooh. the happiest place on earth. I didn't know that, that's cute. How adorable I are like these? the inside is this pink. Yeah, it's like a pink little velvety, very, very cute. I will say Disney Park ears are not the most comfortable, but... They're adorable. They're adorable, exactly. <laughs> pain and, is beauty. <laughs> pain is beauty. And then or this beauty is pain. sweatshirt I also got from there. And I gotta say, this was not my, like, first choice. <laughs> but this is what I went with. It is this cream-colored Disneyland sweatshirt. I just really wanted something that said Disneyland because, again, I love the font. And it's just got this plain Mickey. It is very, like, cozy. It's very comfy. They have an identical one in Disney World. Yes. They have um, a lot of identical clothes mm -hmm. at Disneyland and Disney World. They just say one says Disneyland one and one says Disney World. And we went everywhere trying to find that other spirit jersey or sweatshirt, and it just there was wasn't one in the sweatshirt cards. that I really, really loved. And you guys will see in the first vlog because we search high and low for it. For three days. They did not have it in my size anywhere. And I, I was going to take a medium or a large. They only had smalls and extra smalls or like double XL. So I sadly did not get that sweatshirt, even though I really, really wanted it. And I settled for this. Settled. Settled. But it's cute. Like, I just, I really wanted something that said Disneyland. So. So what else did we get? Where are some we got one more. We did get one more clothing item. Oh, you did, yeah. Because I really, honestly, I just did not pack enough clothes. <laughs> I was expecting to want more Disneyland shirts. Mm. Like, I feel like we were, we, we went into this trip expecting to buy some Disneyland clothes that I was going to actually wear at the parks. 
I would definitely, if you're gonna do that, plan for backup because yeah. I didn't necessarily love everything there. And so I kind of settled. I'm actually, I'm glad that I got this shirt, mm -hmm. but this is the Disneyland shirt that I decided on, which is actually really cool. They do have this for Walt Disney World too, but it has all the different attractions on there. It is so, so detailed. But the thing that I really liked about it is the back which is even cooler. It has Disneyland in every single ride at Disneyland and when they were when they were first like created or when they were first in the parks. And I just really like it because it also has like all the 1955 attractions, which obviously if you're not if you didn't know Disneyland was like the OG you know, it was Walt's Park. Disney was the first, Disneyland yeah. was the first It was park. the first park. So I just thought this was cool with all the different attractions on there and when they were actually put in Disneyland, that was really cool. So again, they do have this for Walt Disney World too and the attractions oh, are a little bit different, but I like the Disneyland version because that's like the OG. That's all we got for clothing though. Yeah, that is. We really didn't get that much, mm -mm. but what else did we get? So during our time at Disney California Adventure, we spent a lot of time on, hello, Oliver. Hi, Ali. Guest He doesn't star. usually make no. an, a, an appearance, but there he is. There's our cat. Thumbs up for the cat. Um, <laughs> we were over on Pixar Pier and Alyssa's like, there is a Wally and Eve um, arcade game. And I'm like, cool. And there's a Bugs Life game where you can win Heimlich. So I was like, we're actually going to play the game. So we buy $20 worth of coins and they don't have Heimlich and Wally and Eve is closed. Yeah, the actual Wally and Eve game was not even, you weren't even able to play it, which I guess I should have figured that out before we bought it, the $20 worth. But then, yeah, the Bugs Life, you still played the game, but you couldn't, mm -hmm. they didn't even have Heimlich to win. It's just nope. who I really wanted to win. So we played other games and Alyssa won them both. She spanked me. That's, that's <laughs> all there is to it. And the first thing is this star from Luna, Luna, yeah, which it's is like a, a little short. short yep. Mm -hmm. And they like move the stars around on the moon. Super adorable. And it has a little uh, Pixar pier there on the back and the eyes are embroidered on mm -hmm. and the Pixar pier on the back is kind of is stamped on. So if you ever go to DCA and you want your and your kids want to play a game, I would recommend that they just do the Luna because you are guaranteed to win. Oh yeah, it's they just flip like over a ducks. it's just like a duck. Yeah, you just flip over the duck and see what your prize is. I really wanted the star. This is the smaller prize because I like that it says Pixar pier on the back. That's cute. So I'm not mad about this. Not mad about it. And then Alyssa one, it I was, the, it was the, the ball throwing yes. uh, horse race there thing. There was a Toy Story game. <laughs> and uh, she she hooked herself up with the rootin' tootin'est cowgirl, Jessie. <laughs> and so then after she won it, we had to carry it around the rest of the day. <laughs> um, so word of the wise, be mindful of that. But she, I mean, she is a a, a well-sized uh, yeah. doll. I mean, she's cute. She's not like my favorite Toy Story character. Like they didn't even let me choose. They were just like, okay, here you go. Here's Jessie. Like, I think there were a few other options and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so there she is. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with her, but she's here and she's a part of our family now. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> We do have, of course, some pins, but these were actually some free items that oh. we got. If you guys ever go and you don't wanna like spend the money mm -hmm. to buy gifts, there are some things that you can get. And these were actually really cool. We went to Lamplight Lounge. For brunch, which was on point. So awesome, yep. you'll have to wait for the vlog for that. And they gave us these coasters, which obviously they all say Lamplight Lounge on this side, but what we really like is that on the back, they're all different characters. So this one is one of the green aliens. They're sketches. We've got, oh, uh, is the this otter. the otter from yep. Zootopia? No, it's just an otter from, just an otter? Uh, there's a short. Okay, an otter from a short, not sure. You guys can comment down below. Love this one, it's an up one. And then you have... Mama Melda. Yeah, from Coco. So these are super cool. And I know they have a ton of different ones, tons. but these are the ones that we got and it's, we decided to keep them. It's kind of like the ones at Oga's Lounge is they just like give you a thousand. Yeah, them. yeah. So this was super cute. And then uh, I got to talking to a cast member in the, uh, the one of the shops and I was saying it was my first time because I was wearing my first time button, first Which is visit. Which also, that's a free item. You can just mm -hmm. get a first visit button or they have celebration buttons. And he says, I bet you never seen one of these. And he did a little bit of trivia and this is an honorary citizen of Disneyland button. And uh, the trivia was, what was the uh, mascot 
of Disneyland when it opened. Ooh, you guys should comment down below and guess what it was. Because I don't think we knew. We didn't know I what knew. it was. I knew. You knew? Mm, I, 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 I puzzled it out. Okay. Well, this is a really cool, fun little item. And we actually have a few of these because we've gotten them in Magic Mail before, but this one we earned. So it's even better. And of course, we had to get some maps. Did we ever use them? No, because we use the Disneyland app. So maps are always a fun thing. We like to look back at them. And also they're kind of time capsules because mm -hmm. parks change over time. Yeah. So you can look back at it in your little uh, scrappy bookie exactly. and go from there. Exactly. This we did end up purchasing. I did purchase just a little postcard of Disneyland, of the Disneyland castle, because we don't have any postcards of Disneyland. So I figured I'd just purchase this. I don't know, it was a few bucks. I don't even remember how much it was. This will just be like a little keepsake and you can even frame it and like put it in our background or whatever. So this is pretty cute. A cheap, a cheap item as a souvenir. So even though this bag is little, it's still full of- It's heavy. Happiness. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and, and it's heavy. If you are into pins, then continue to watch Hello. because uh, and if we you're bought not, some. If you're not into pins, we will uh, help you get into them. Yes. So we did buy a few mystery boxes and we just bought one of each. Mm -hmm. This one was really cool that we saw. It's the Small World Holiday version. Oh yeah. And so these are all the different pins that you can get. It's an eight pin collection. And I just thought these were really cool. We only got one box just to open them and see what they look like. They're very colorful pins, but I just thought this was a really cute box and it would be fun to open. So eventually, this will be in a pin unboxing. Then we got two boxes of the distinctively Disney dining mystery pin set. And these are fun because it has a bunch of different scenes of food that is being eaten. And of course at the top is Lady and the Tramp. And then you have Mike and uh, his girlfriend at the sushi place. Yep. It has the I have a dream scene. There's Tiana. So I'm excited to see these in person and uh, because they're probably gonna be pretty uh, detailed. So I know. We'll be opening them at a later date. Yeah, so if you like pin unboxings, you gotta subscribe because we do those every once in a while too. We try to do one like once a month, basically. Some of these pins we probably could have purchased at Disney World, but since they were limited edition, didn't know if they were gonna be available the next time we're gonna be there. We just had the fever. Yeah, so I ended up getting this character gift box, and this is actually a Rapunzel character gift box. And it does have a little <laughs> moving element of Pascal in Rapunzel's dress, who's adorable. But then there's just all sorts of Rapunzel-y things. Like you have the frying pan there, you have the flower, you have her little paint set, just so many cute things that represent Rapunzel. And I will look and see what LE this is, cause I didn't even look. Oh, weird. Oh, this just completely popped out. Oh, was it's a different to pin. This is a different pin. Oh, or what? Is it supposed cool. to be like that? I guess yes. so. This pin just completely comes out. You can have your own little Pascal. And you can put it, okay, that's cool. And this is actually a really weird edition size. It's limited edition of 2250. Interesting. Like very specific. They, they went into the tins place. 2250, interesting. Very big pin though, I like it. Also they had a pin to celebrate International Women's Day and it immediately caught our eye because it has some of our favorite princesses. You have Tiana and Belle and Ariel and Jasmine and right along the side there, it has the character traits. So confident, strong, smart, and uh, last but not least. That one's Mulan. Beautiful, where's isn't, Mulan? Isn't this Mulan? Strong. Oh, that is strong, my bad. So Mulan. That is Ariel. Mulan, I apologize. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> it looked very red in the, in, in the camera. Well, yeah, her hair is red, so that can be confusing. So we saw that and we we're like, that's cool. We like all those princesses. Yeah, so, exactly. One of the most exciting things about going to Disneyland is experiencing rides that I have never experienced before. And one of them was Alyssa's favorite, and it's the Indiana Jones Adventure Temple of the Forbidden Eye and we had to pick up this pin. And so it has this slider element in the middle of Indiana Jones. It has the snakes on the side. And uh, for the record, it is so much better than Dinosaur because there's so much to look at. Yeah, it's and the same track as Dinosaur in Animal Kingdom. I just Way love better. that big room you go into and like things, fire is it's shooting so up cool. and you can see other vehicles. That's in our first vlog, by the way. Yes, so this Very was cool. a super cool experience. And it's a huge Huge pin. And it is a massive pin. And yes, it's open edition, but 
uh, we like to commemorate things. I feel like this was like a good price too for the big pin too, $12.99. Oh yeah. And it's a three pin back. It's a big pin back. A big pin. And then what else did we get? Oh, we also got one pin to represent our first time going to DCA and seeing Cars Land. We got the Cars Land pin. It's very, very simple. I it wish we would have spent more time there. We needed to spend more time in DCA, yeah, to be honest. I wish whole... we had more time. We also were going to get the Avengers Campus pin, and then yeah. we never ended up, we saw it at one place, and we were like, oh, we're gonna buy it. And then we never saw it anywhere else. I guess so we need to go back. We did not get the Avengers Campus. Yeah, we'll have, to get, we'll have to go back and get it again. And then uh, we wanted to get this one because it was an original uh, ride that opened with the park. It's the Matterhorn, which has the same ride system as Space Mountain in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And it beats the absolute snot out of you. Apparently it does. I feel like they feel different. They do. They feel they're, different. They're much different. Everyone keeps saying they're the same, but it's I just not don't the, know if I believe it. It's not the it. same track layout. It's the same ride system. Yeah. Oh, Okay, okay. There's a difference. Because the track doesn't seem like exactly no. the same as no, the No, 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 no. It was you, a fun ride though. You have a mountain climber Mickey there. All right, that's it. That's all we got. This was like kind of quick for us. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like typically we end up getting more, but. but I don't think we spent a lot of time in the shops. We didn't. We, we, were out we in spent the parts. some time just like seeing what each shop had, but really, no. We spent most of our time riding the rides, mm -hmm. enjoying Disneyland, soaking it all in. So if you guys are interested in checking out those vlogs, our Disneyland vlog is going to be out on Sunday. Sunday. So that's gonna be our first one, and then we'll have our part two coming out coming right up. after that. So we're gonna try to put them very close together. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let us know what your favorite items were, and subscribe for more Disney content, and we will see you all real soon. Bye guys. See you later.